Go. When you decide to have bariatric surgery, you are making a commitment to yourself that you will use surgery as a tool and that you are ready to implement a new lifestyle and start life with a whole new attitude. With this tool, you will be able to live life to the max and forbid yourself for going back to the past. Changing your lifestyle requires more consistent habits, which include exercise, discipline, strong willpower, and planning. This month's support group will discuss two main topics, which is meal planning and several facts that you shall know in regards to items that are avoided after surgery. Main benefits of meal planning are structured shopping trips, money savings, less last-minute shopping trips and eating out, and the most important are predictable calorie intake. When budgeting your meals, use three P's method. Plan, purchase, and prepare. Due to your reduced portion, we need to make sure that food is not wasted. Planning will help you stopping at convenience stores or fast food restaurants. Include meals that will stretch expensive good items such as stews or casseroles or stir-fried dishes. Make grocery lists check the sales weekly, and utilize loyalty cards at the store. Purchase your groceries when you are not hungry. Stick to your list, buy store brand, find and compare unit prices, purchase items in bulk or family packs, and choose fresh fruits and vegetables in season. Purchase uncut fruits and vegetables and buy larger tubs and non-instant items. Prepare your meals in advance. Freeze, stews, chilies, and casserole type foods and divide into portions while serving. Incorporate leftovers into subsequent meals. Rotate fruits and vegetables in season. And while you have to eat out for a special occasion, save money by getting early bird special or going out for lunch instead of dinner. Look for two for one deals. Stick to water instead of other beverages and order kids meals. During my years of practice, I have found that this meal planning had become one of the most powerful keys for contributing to the weight loss success. Our next topic is the reasons why I recommend for you to avoid some highly addicted beverages after surgery. Those beverages that I recommend to avoid after surgery involve caffeine, carbonated beverages, and alcohol. Caffeine is avoided after surgery because it causes dehydration when consumed in excessive amount. It increases GERD exacerbation GERD is gastric esophageal reflux disease, and it uh, forms stomach ulcer, and it also may act as GI stimulant, which increases digestion, resulting in faster return of hunger sensation. Carbonated beverages increases belching and passing gas, and thus increase discomfort. Alcohol is eliminated due to many reasons. First is the fact that alcohol is an empty liquid calories. Secondly, there are research evidence of transfer addiction with alcohol consumption. Thirdly, it increases vitamin deficiency. And lastly, it acts as gastric irritants. You will have low tolerance of alcohol after surgery, meaning that you will get drunk a lot faster. I have seen most weight loss when these recommendations are implemented in the new lifestyle. You should also know facts such as stronger taste and smell senses when it comes to food and your food tolerance will increase over time. The more often you chew your food, the less calories you will consume. Research shows that when food is chewed 40 times or more, it decreases calorie intake by 12%. Swallowed gum may cause obstruction. Chewing gum may produce gas due to air inhalation and sugar alcohol. Using straw may increase air inhalation 
and belching as well. Every individual will have different experience after surgery. However, majority of patients will show similar output or results after bariatric surgery. When encountering anything that you feel abnormal or out of the ordinary, it is always best to consult with your healthcare provider. We are happy to help. See you for the next support group.